Hi everyone, today we are going to hear about the updated BSc Nursing syllabus for the BSc Nursing students under guidance of Indian Nursing Council. So it is necessary to pre-oriented about the new syllabus. So before that, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any single video. This is a four year program same like what we are followed for a long time but here it is not an annual program it is comprising of eight semester which prepares a students to become a registered nurse qualified to practice in a variety of settings in either public government or private healthcare settings as we know it is a professional course therefore it adapts UGC guidelines in a hybrid form to suit the professional education. Mastery in competencies is achieved through learning in skill lab, stimulated lab and clinical environment. Through this educational process, the students assimilated and synthesized the knowledge, cultivate critical thinking skills and develop care strategies. Nursing as a profession and a discipline utilizes the knowledge derived from arts, science that include physical, biological and behavioral, humanities and human experiences. Nursing science incorporates clinical competence, critical thinking, communication, teaching, learning, professionalism and caring and cultural competencies. Nurses collaborate with other health disciplines to solve individual and community health problems. Nursing facilitates evidence-based practices, compassionate caring among its practitioners in response to emerging issues in healthcare and new discoveries and technologies in profession. Nursing practice requires personal commitment to professional development and lifelong learning. Next, we can discuss about the aims of BS Nursing program. The aims of undergraduate program are to first one, produce knowledgeable, competent nurses and midwives with clear critical thinking skills who are caring, motivated, assertive and well disciplined responding to the changing needs of the profession, healthcare delivery system and society. Okay, the second one, prepare them to assume responsibilities as professional, competent nurses and midwives in providing promotive, preventive, curative and rehabilitative healthcare services in, in any healthcare settings. The third one, prepare the nurses and midwives who can make independent decisions in nursing situation within the scope of practice, protect the rights of the individual and the groups and conduct research in the areas of nursing practice and apply evidence-based practices. Next one, prepare them to assume the role of practitioner, teacher, supervisor and manager in all healthcare settings. These are about the aims of BS nursing program. Then we can check about the objectives. On completion of the BSc Nursing program, the BSc Nursing graduate will be able to utilize the critical thinking to synthesize knowledge that's derived from physical, biological and behavioral science and humanities in the practice of professional nursing and OB nursing. Okay, the next objective is provide promotive, preventive and restorative health services in line with the national health policies and programs. The next one, integrate professional caring into the practice of decisions that encompasses values, ethical and moral and legal aspect of nursing. Next one, respect the dignity, worth and the uniqueness of the self and others. Next, communicate effectively with the patients, peers and all the health care providers. Okay, next we want to apply concept of leadership, autonomy and management to the practice of nursing and midwifery to enhance the quality and the safety in the healthcare. The next one, utilize the latest knowledge and skills related to information and technology to enhance patient outcome. Next, outcome, next objective is integrate research findings and nursing theory in decision making in evidence based practices. Participate in the advancement of profession to improve the health care for the betterment of global society. These are about the objectives of BS nursing curriculum. Okay, next we can check about the core competencies for the nursing and midwifery practices by BS nursing graduate. That you can understand in a better way with the help of this diagram. Okay, the BS nursing graduate or the nurses will be able to the first one patient centered care next professionalism teaching and leadership 
system based practices health informatics and technology communication teamwork and collaboration safety quality improvement evidence based practices then i will explain about the core competencies in detail first one patient centered care that means provide holistic care recognizing individual patient's preference values and needs that is compassionate coordinated age and culturally appropriate safe and effective care the next one is professionalism that means demonstrate accountability for the delivery of standard based nursing care as per the council standard that is consistent with the moral legal ethical and regulatory and humanistic principles next one is teaching and leadership that means influence the behavior of the individual and groups within their environment and facilitate establishment of shared goals through teaching and leadership the fourth one is system based practices that means demonstrate awareness and responsiveness to the context of health care system and ability to manage resources essential to provide optimal quality of care the fifth one is health informatics and technologies that means use technology and synthesize information and collaborate to make critical decision that optimize patient outcome the next one is communication interact effectively with the patients families and colleagues fostering mutual respect and shared decision making to enhance the patient satisfaction and health outcome the seventh one teamwork and collaboration function effectively within nursing and interdisciplinary terms fostering open communication mutual respect shared decision making team learning and development So next one is safety minimize the risk of harm to the patients and provide through both the system effectiveness and individual performance the ninth one quality improvement that means use data to monitor the outcomes of care process and utilize improvement methods to design and to test changes to continuously improve the quality and the safety of the healthcare system the last one evidence based practices as we all know that identify evaluate and use the best current evidence based practices in the clinical experts and the consideration of the patient's preference experiences and values to make the practical decisions these are about the core competencies in bsc nursing curriculum next i am going to explain about the eligibility criteria or admission terms and conditions for a uh, candidate who are interested to joining in bsc nursing program first one the minimum age for admission shall be 17 years on 31st december of the year which they are taken the admission and the maximum age limit for admission shall be 35 years the next one minimum educational qualification candidate with science who have passed the qualifying 12th standard examination and must have obtained a minimum of 45 percentage of marks in physics chemistry and biology taken together and passed in english individually next the candidate are also eligible from the state open school recognized by state government and the national institute of open school recognized by central government having science subjects and english only english is a compulsory subject in 10th and plus 2 being eligible for admission to bsc nursing program and the candidates needs to be medically fit married candidates also eligible for admission and next student shall be admitted once in a an year then the vocational anms r anms are also eligible these are about the eligibility criteria mostly the admission shall be through the entrance examination the entrance test shall be con- conducted by the university or state government or otherwise from the college so the entrance examination the total mark may be that carries 100 marks the dividation is aptitude for the nursing carry 10 marks general science 15 marks general knowledge they carry 20 marks english 10 mark and the general ability 10 marks minimum qualification of the mark for the entrance examination is to be 15 marks okay that is about the entrance examination next we can check about the curricular framework 
The BSc Nursing program is a four year program comprising of eight semester that is credit and semester based. It is a choice based only for the elective courses. Competency based curriculum is the main approach that is based on the 10 core competencies. The course are categorized into foundational course, core courses and elective courses. The uh, curricular framework shown in this figure There are 10 core competencies. First one, foundational courses that include applied basic and behavioral science. Second one, core courses including nursing foundation, community health nursing, adult health nursing, child health nursing, maternal health nursing and obesity nursing. The third one is elective courses. Now let's see what is included in the elective modules. Any two of these modules should be cleared before the fourth semester that are human values, diabetic care, palliative care, disaster management. Now let's look about the other things. Here are some elective modules. It needs to be complete any one of the following before the sixth semester. CBT, personality development, addiction psychiatry, adolescent health, sports health, accreditation and practice standard, developmental psychology, menopausal health and health economics. I hope you understand all this. If you have any doubt, drop a comment below. Next about the 7th and 8th semester, to complete any one of the following before the 8th semester, we can check what are the things. The first one, scientific writing skills. Next, lactation management. Next, sexuality and health, stress management, job readiness and employability in healthcare settings soft skills so far we have been talking about the modules now let's see about how many subjects are from each semester these are the subjects covered in the first semester that are the first one is general science that is a refresher course this is get, giving an opportunity to recollect about the science and the science related things that the students learned in the past Next, Communicative English, Applied Anatomy and Applied Physiology, Applied Sociology and Applied Psychology and Nursing Foundation 1. Next, we can uh, look about the subjects that we need to study in the second semester. The first one is Applied Biochemistry. Next, Applied Nutrition and Dietics. Nursing Foundation 2, including First Aid Module. Introduction to Community Health Nursing, including healthcare policies and regulation and environmental science. So in this semester, one mandatory module is there, that is first aid. Next, we can check about the third semester. In the third semester, a lot of subjects are there. First one, applied microbiology and infection control, including safety. Next, pharmacology one, pathology one, adult health, that means the medical surgical nursing with the integrated pathophysiology. Next is professionalism, professional values and ethics including bioethics. Then one more mandatory modules is there in the third semester that is BCLS. Next we can check about the fourth semester and what are the subjects we need to study in the fourth semester that include pharmacology 2, pathology 2 and genetics, adult health nursing 2 including geriatric nursing with integrated pathophysiology. Next one is educational technology and the nursing education. Then that mandatory modules is the health assessment. Next about the fifth semester that includes child health nursing 1, mental health nursing 1, nursing management and leadership. Next nursing research and statistics, health, nursing informatics and technology. The next subject is introduction to forensic nursing and Indian laws. The mandatory modules, one more mandatory modules is there. That, uh, that is essential newborn care and facility based newborn care. Next we can check about the subject that included in the sixth semester. That include child health nursing 2, mental health nursing 2, community health nursing 1, including epidemiology. Then next is OBG nursing 1. Okay, these are about the subject in the 6th semester. The mandatory module is standard treatment protocol used in national health programs. Okay, that is about the 6th semester. Then next we can look what are the subjects that are included in the 7th semester. That include community health nursing 2, OBG nursing 2, then nursing research and statistics. The mandatory module is standard treatment protocol used in national health programs. That is part 2.
So that is about the seven semesters. Then eight semester that is completely for the internship, intensive practices and uh, clinical posting. So then one more mandatory module is there that is ACLS. Okay, that's about today's videos. Here we are here about the basic things about the updated INC syllabus. We will come to with an another video soon that will explain about the examination assessment criteria along with the model question paper. Don't miss it. Leave a comment below. Let us know how we can help you better. Thank you for joining me today. See you on next video. Bye.